PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete here again to annoy you, tell you some more useless information that you didn't even really want to know. Hey, I don't know if you guys didn't like me when you first started the plasma cut. I could afford the plasma cutter, but I couldn't afford the bloody compressor to run it. So I was looking for all sorts of ways to start cutting without actually having to spend the money that I didn't have to buy a big compressor. I did all sorts of crap, eh, to try and learn how to cut. And because once you buy your plasma cutter, you realise that you need a big compressor to run it. And I think a lot of newbies don't actually realise that to start off with. They buy a plasma cutter and say, oh yeah, let's get into it. And then they get it home and realise that they can't cut with the bloody thing. Anyway, guys, if you haven't got a big compressor, but you might have a stupid little compressor like this little thing here, I'll show you how to get started with plasma cutting just with this and another couple of other bits and pieces. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day to me in the comments below if you've got any better ideas than me, which wouldn't take a lot, I tell you that. And uh, let's get into it. So if you haven't got a compressor, guys, you must have one of these, surely. Because <laughs> everybody can get hold of one of these. Now you're saying to yourself, guys, what's that idiot doing with the friggin' tire? Well, I'll show you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Right there, guys, so I went and got the spare wheel out of my old um, four-wheel drive, and I got my plasma cutter here. So what we need to do first, guys, is this. So what I've got here, guys, is just a normal airline. This end here has just got a clip on to a uh, tyre pumper upper like that. And the other end here, I've just taken the uh, nozzle off the end, so I can put it straight into my plasma cutter here. So what I'm doing, guys, is the other end of my airline, just put it, feed it into the plasma cutter like so. And just do them up. I've actually done this to plasma cut guys when I didn't have a compressor, and it does work. Tighten them up like that. Now the next tip for you guys is to make sure that we can run this on as low a pressure as possible. So what I normally do is turn it down to about 30 psi or 25 psi. And to do that, we do this. Hee <laughs> hee! Grab the other end, the tyre pumper up a bit, and stick it in the old four-wheel drive tyre like so. So you can hear the air coming out of it. Check how much air we've got in there. See that, guys? What are we running at? About that's 60 pound, I think. I think it's about 60 pound. I can't quite see. Anyway, what we want to do is adjust our plasma cutter here to get away with as least as possible. I reckon about 30 pounds. So anyway, let's do that. Here! Now to get this to work guys, we're going to have to pull the trigger in, so we'll pull the trigger in and just jiggle it around a bit until it works. And there we go, see that needle going up guys? i just got to muck about with the valve a bit so I've got a right good connection. So that works, so then we'll just zip tie the trigger up. You can use a bit of wire or whatever you've got, but I find zip ties are easier. They don't come off like that wire does. So there we go, we've got a zip tied all up. We've got air pressure in there, so then we'll just adjust the back of the uh, plasma cutter. So guys, if we wind this down as much as we can to about 30, I reckon. What are we? About 30, we're going down. Let's have a look. About there. Pull the trigger, see what happens. What do we got? 25, about 25, 30 pounds. So we'll leave it there, guys, and see if we can do some cutting. Yeah! Rightio, guys, there's no trick to this. As you can see, it's just got an airline here. Comes around the back. As you see, we screw it into the back of the plasma cutter here. The other end of it is just on this pump up gun here guys, so we'll put them on the tyre and see what happens. Like I showed you before guys, I've got this loft down here, so it's on all the time. We stick that in there, you watch the air come into that gun, watch the needle go up, see that guys, we're going up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Should get more than that out of it, push it right in Pete. Alright guys, we've got air pressure in there now, let's go and do some plasma cutting, see how long it lasts. 
Righty oh guys, there's absolutely no trick to this at all. I'm using the air out of the spare wheel. Let's see how we go. Yeah! Cutting right to me. You reckon, guys? What time we need to cut a bolt? Will it cut a bolt? Might have you earthed it out, you idiot. Yeehaw! Let's cut that bolt again. I'm quite low air pressure, I'm cutting quite slow. <laughs> oh, we're still cutting. Right, let's cut some shape. cut the head off this bolt guys <laughs> and we're still cutting with a tire so you get quite a bit of cutting out of it uh, four wheel drive tire guys if you've got a bigger tire of course the bigger the longer length of cut you're going to get but out of that four wheel drive tire probably get five or six minutes of cutting pretty cool and then all you've got to do is if you've got one of these and everyone's got one of these stupid little things half the time they don't work i don't really like them but it does the job just go and plug this little compressor into the tire and wait 15 or 20 minutes for it to pump it back up again and you can start cutting again yeah so guys that was my useless information for the day like i say if you get caught out you haven't got enough money to buy a compressor and you just want to have a play with the uh, plasma machine that you just brought give that a crack why not it works trust me guys it works you're not going to be able to cut for hours and hours with it, but it'll certainly give you enough time to have a play and cut some bolts and bits and pieces like I showed you. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. Come say good day to me in the comments below if you want. And I'll be here to annoy you next time. Bye. PeachTools.com.com.com.